and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on a YouTube for some Teemo Swain Control. That's right, playing Teemo Swain Control. Definitely something I hadn't really seen before. Uh, this was a viewer submitted donation deck that we're going to be playing. Let's talk about how this is going to work. We're going to have a lot of removal, a lot of damage based removal as well, because we want to be leveling up Swain. And our kind of our main way that we're going to be winning is Swain. You know, Leviathan going and drawing Swain, dealing damage to the enemy Nexus. Um, so, you know, like whenever we have a leveled up Swain, the what, the reason why Leviathan's so good with Swain is because it does uh, damage to the non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus three times. And so it stuns the strongest back row enemy three times. Well, another easy way to deal non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus is with Puff Caps. And so our deck's going to be playing Teemo and some Puff Caps and trying to uh, give our opponent a bunch of Puff Caps so that whenever they draw those, those not only help level up Swain, but once the, we have a leveled up Swain and in play and they draw Puff Caps, boom, we're stunning back row enemies um, and the strongest one. So that's a cool little uh, combination there. Um... But yeah, so that's, that's kind of what our, our deck's about. We have a couple Sumpworks maps in here to be able to target the Swain, to be able to attack with Swain with Elusive, which having Elusive and Fearsome is going to make it easier to Nexus Strike and get this part, uh, the deal three to everything. That's super, super powerful. So that's why we got the Sumpworks maps in here. Got some Peddlers to help give them some more Puff Caps and some Chump Wumps for some Mushroom Clouds to give them some more Puff Caps to help level up Teemo and just have it more likely that they draw puff caps and everything and then just a bunch of removal all right so teemo swain control something new we're gonna go play five games over in ranked see how it does hey colt doing good doing good um all right so we're going to we're gonna hopefully um, hopefully not get another 1-4. You know, we're, we're either like 4-1 or 1-4 today. And we'll mulligan. Now, should I keep Static Shock? Maybe... Cool. Get our eight mana cards. Glad we drew two out of the three of those. Just didn't have anything for. Um, didn't have anything for uh, the ravenous flock to really do. That was a good play by them. Playing the 3 1. Would love them play, you know, Crimson Disciple or Elise. Would have played those last turn. Alright, Peddler blocks Elise. I've thought about doing, uh... yeah, Agent. I, I've thought about doing some some coaching on the side. That wouldn't be something on stream.
you know, like coaching for like an hourly rate kind of thing. Alright, so we'll go stun that plus ravenous block it. This is still me, best case scenario, going down to seven. That's really nice, being able to counter the no Noxian Fervor. It's quite nice. Alright, Swain is at 10 out of 12. So close. So we could play Swain pre-combat, but if we play Swain and then they play Darius, I'm in a ton of trouble. Then they just go and attack with Darius and I'm in a ton of trouble. So instead, I'm going to not play Swain. They play Darius. I thermogenic beam Darius. And life's a little better. Now Swain matches up well against Facilis Grider. 4-7, V-6-4. One man, oh, I'm gonna be one damage short, aren't I? Oh, I'm gonna be one damage short. Because I should have played this pre combat. No, it doesn't matter. They just have two decimates. Yeah, that's that's a good call. That's a good way to say it there, Ebon Wave there. Um, or that was Super Z. Sorry. Uh, Super Z said that our opponent's deck is the new on curve Demacia. Basically is. It's the new region they gave the largest units to. How do we beat Deep? I'm thinking keep Mystic Shot for the 3-2 Lifesteal. Thanks, Anxiety. Yeah. 150 viewers in today. It's awesome. Yeah, that's true. That's still a pretty close game. Even though for a while it didn't look like it was going to be a close game. I'm always, always, I'm always excited if we get 100 people in here. Danger paid. So we'll go Mystic Shots on the Jaw Hunters. And 
and that's why I did a Mystic Shot right away is because I wanted them to burn some more cards before we give them the Puff Caps, right? Like, we want their deck to be as small as possible before we start giving them Puff Caps. The question is, do I... No, I think I just trade both Mystic Shots away, right? Or do I want to trade, like, Arachnoid Sentry for Dread Bloom Wanderer and keep Mystic Shot to help deal with something else for Noxian Guillotine? That's kind of the main question. I think I'll keep Arachnoid Sentry for later. Yeah, I feel like Sentry could... Yeah. Like, they're both... Both pretty decent cards to keep, and I'll keep the sentry. Every card that they get rid of, they could be obliterating. Oh, I should be playing Swain. This should be Swain. Yeah, that should be me playing Swain right now. That was just, that was just a brain fart. So they want, if they want their Thorny Toad to die, they can, they can let it die. And I'll, you know, I'm, I'm offering them that. Yeah, or they, or they get that block. We'll stun that. Um. You know, it would be nice to get the, the other peddler in play first. Yuck. That was pretty awesome. Well, that was pretty awesome. Hmm. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But I, I really should have played the Swain on turn 5. That would have made... Oh, certainly would have been better. <laughs> yeah, we need a boat to hunt all these fish. So we do have a lot of fish that we're hunting. Alright, Enigma Soul had a good good nap. Yep, you are, woke up in time. You woke up just in time. for the Teemo Swain deck. So this will have them toss two. Hopefully no puff caps. Uh, I tossed one puff cap. And then just go back up to 20. Oh, I should have played this Mushroom Cloud first. Taking 10. Taking 10. Could have been an additional three puff caps. I would have played that before. Oh, that's a right there. All right, they're taking the ten. 
25 puff caps, 23 cards. And so if they want to, if they draw more cards with Abyssal Eye, that's just more chances of them drawing more puff caps, right? I think that's how, that's how math works. So Abyssal Eye kinda, could, could kinda help me out. Could. Ooh. All right, so the toss two got rid of two puff caps. And then they drew two more. Cool, that only got rid of one puff cap. Um, am I blocking that with Teemo? I think the answer is no. Draw more cards if they want. It's fine with me. Yep, that's that's what we're gonna. Yeah, that's what that's the goal. Uh, chain our stunning. You know, like they draw puff cap, stun stuff with Swain. You know, stun this thing, hit him with Teemo. That's the goal. Twenty-seven puff caps, fifteen cards. This one's not very important. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. It's this next draw. This one here, this is the important one. They gotta draw it like at the beginning of turn. Draw puff cap, stun the elusive blocker for my Teemo. Wow, that got rid of a lot of puff caps. Dang, those three had a bunch of puff caps on them. Puff cap? Yes. There we go, that's the important one. Oh! That's so close to dying. Um... Yeah, with the life steal, it's tough. Okay. Gain three, double them up. I'll have it 10 cards, 32 puff caps. Your cause is lost, Triad. One fight. Because no one else will. Give him another three, 35. I can just cast this and kill my three one and just give him another three. Nah. Drew it, there we go, two. Perfect. Perfect puff caps. Okay. Um, yeah. What's my favorite champion of the game? Probably, probably Teemo. Like just like these puff cap decks. Like they, are, they aren't the best, but they're so much fun. Every single win is so rewarding. You know, like it feels so good every single time you actually get a win, and they draw a whole bunch of puff caps and everything like that. Like they feel great. Yeah, yeah, just it's a great feeling of accomplishment whenever you do get the, the puff cap wins. So that's why it's probably my favorite. But it's not it's not like too good. It's not like the, you know, Elnux whenever they saw 10 cards that you were just always like hitting Elnux all the time and um, and everything like that. 
Uh, Braum's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Do we turn one Teemo? I don't know, I guess so. Well, the worst card in our deck is definitely Sumpworks map. Against a removal heavy deck, Sumpworks map really doesn't matter. So, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we've drawn Sumpworks maps back to back. That is our worst card. No. Gotcha. The marksman. Is it the boosters? Who knows? Come on, work. Don't have elixir of iron. You got to be kidding me. Okay. Whew. I got really nervous. Counterfeit copies? No, they got the anti-puff cap strat. Counterfeit copies, put a bunch of more copies into their deck. They don't have puff caps on them. They got that puff cap strat working. These old eyes still see far and clear. Nothing escapes my watch. Uh, I guess they shuffled a bunch of Averrosen sentries into their deck. Oh, if mushrooms could That's what it looks talk. like. Well, if we can give them a bunch of puff caps, then hear that. it'll be good to have. Um. Can't afford to miss. It'll be good to have the Averrosen sentries die. Two out of eight right now. A chill in the air. I kind of feel bad for using both of my static shocks already. I mean, look at all these three ones. So many three ones everywhere. So do I want to take two damage? Do I want to take three damage to give them three puff caps if I wait till after I play this other peddler? So I'm gonna mystic shot. I'm gonna mystic shot this three one. Do I want to take three damage first and then give them three more puff caps? I think so. This could come back to bite me. This could come back to buy me. Oh, I should still play this first because they draw another card, so just give them some more pop caps to draw into. Yeah, draw those cards. I should just play that first. Into that card.
Rude. This would be a good winter. We see through all. Rude. One of that six damage. All right. Chump bump's good. Six, go to seven. Nah, we'll we'll do the death hand, force them to draw another card. No puff caps there, but we're about to give them a bunch. And that was the ideal scenario was wait till after they have all these puff caps and then make them draw. Um, I don't know. I didn't really want to take the two damage. Oh, yes. Yes. Insightful Investigator. Draw one. Give it fleeting. Oh, yes. Please draw more cards. Please draw more cards. Let's go. Draw them up. No, I don't like that card. That card blocks. I don't like that card at all. all right, one puff cap. Mm. All they have to do is target one one thing, and then the Ezreal is a two four. I don't love that. Yeah, it's true. The Ez Ezreal Mystic Shots do draw them cards. I guess if it's a 2-4 and it blocks, then I can guillotine and kill it. I guess that's a thing we can do. Yeah, draw that card. Oh no! Another harsh winds. Oh no! Now this. Now we don't get to guillotine that. Oh my gosh, could this this have gone any more perfect for them? Gotcha. Wow. We're close. So are they. This guillotine just couldn't kill anything. By snow Is that lethal? Stars. Yeah, it's lethal, isn't it? Man, that's that's disappointing. Disappointing. Is your that was in. Yeah, I mean, if I just don't, if I just don't attack, they don't get to get that marksman. Right then, that was, that was unreal. Like, basically, if I just don't make that attack, if I just don't attack at all. Oh, that was close. Oh, right. I forgot that I was going to draw him a card. If I don't make... If I don't make that attack at all, I think I I think I just win, right? Like, that attack killed me, because it killed both of my elusive blockers. It killed both of my peddlers. Like, if I just don't attack, if I just pass the turn, I would have been just fine.
that was uh, yeah that, that attack cost me that game that was frustrating could have won that if I just don't attack I don't have a good Swain hand at all. I do like calling Strike against... I was going to say Braum and Anivia, but I, now I just realize they're just Anivia. Harvey's Borkin. Bark, 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 bark. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops. I kind of feel like. I don't know. Could, could see this being like Grass the Undying. Tavern Keeper. Probably just want to trade here. Keep Peddlers alive. No, that's it's just that's me mi missing out on too much damage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I gotta take the seven damage. Let's talk about your town. Oh, that's a harvest right there. There they go. All right, make sure my opponent has a, a nice harvest breakfast. I think that's what the peddler says. It's a nice harvest breakfast. Delivery person for the person across the street. That's what Harvey was barking at. Um, gave him a good 21 puff caps. Each one of those, or 22. Each one of those was 11 puff caps. Oh, wait. This is only doing. That's not killing anything. Now they kill stuff. I don't really have a favorite food. I I'm somebody who like just appreciates everything, and I I love all sorts of food. I am I, there's not really any food I don't I don't like. Um, yeah, I, I love all kind of food. Yeah, I love. Oh yeah, absolutely love sushi. Yep. Uh, Thai food, Indian food. Chinese food, Mexican food, Italian food. Just give me all the food. I will eat it. I'll be very happy. Yeah, Indian food. Yeah, I only got into Indian food like two years ago. 
but I used to love the Indian buffet, but unfortunately the you know buffets just aren't a thing anymore. But yeah, I love, love some good Indian food. Master, no, I wouldn't eat bugs. That doesn't really sound like a food. I'm talking about like restaurant food. They really serve bugs at restaurants. Witness strength. If they do, that'd probably be a bug in the system. Draw those puff caps. Oh. You should be drawing, you know, puff cap a turn. Approximately. Ending rounds is just good for me, right? I'll do this. Cause then if I just if I click OK to end turn, that's just good for me, right? Because then they draw another card and they just, you know. Draw more puff caps. So the more I end turns, the better, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have nine, I have three, six, nine. We both have nine. They're out there. I'll spot them. Okay. Okay. I like seeing that. That's that's me making them draw another card. I oh, I can only make one of those. Right, because I had the nine. You can see the Nebastian border from here. I should have done this first. I wanted I wanted to give them so I wanted to play the chump up and get more mushroom clouds and give them more mushrooms before having them draw. Draw some more cards. If they go Anivia, I'll go Arachnoid Sentry. This is our time. Yeah, we want them to draw cards. Go ahead, draw some cards. What else you got? Two puff caps. Interesting. Interesting. What else you got? Two more puff caps. Let's go. See, just sitting back and, and letting, letting us just draw back and forth for a while. That just helps them draw into more puff caps. And there we go. Two and two really should be a three and one. If I would have messed up that third game. Elise, Thresh, Gangplank. So this looks like Keg Control that also has Elise to help out the early game. That's what I'm kind of assuming this is. Yeah, sorry. The one, three, the one, four dreams dead. We're gonna have a number that's, we're gonna get some other crooked numbers, not just some ones and fours. We're gonna get some twos and threes. Get those crooked numbers in there. Oh yeah, like kebabs. Yeah. I have certainly had kebabs. Those are good as well. Have a mushroom, have three. So this Peddler is not the best play because we don't have, like, I don't have a spell to play with it. Right? So it's not the best of plays. Yeah, so... Looks like I should have just passed. It's been weird how bad our Noxian Guillotine has been, hasn't it? Like, I haven't expected the Noxian Guillotine to be this bad. 
but it has done nothing. Just absolutely nothing. Wait on the sentry. Which I could, could have gotten them some more puff caps with that peddler. Okay. That's a card that I really wanted to draw. That is a card that I like seeing. Try to have Swain do some damage to him. That's fine. I could use a gotcha to keep my my card alive, but man. So I hope they don't have vengeance. That's probably a boot, the only card killing Swain, right? Vengeance. See, no vengeance. We are at war. All right, now Guillotine can do something. Now that Guillotine can do something. Gotta go with the flow. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. I should try playing League of Legends as a bonus dream. I don't think that would probably go too well. You'll fight or you'll swim. Round them up. Probably wouldn't go too well. Three out of five. Hang them by their entrails. That light flickers. Don't know exactly what they're gonna have that punishes me for blocking. I can't really think of things with those regions. Good news is the less cards they have, the better for potential puff caps later on in the game. And if this was a reg regular Ravenous Flock, I'd probably cast that over the, the guillotine, but it's a Swain's Ravenous Flock, so I'd rather have I'd rather have this, so in case they kill the Swain, I have a backup. Alright, GG. So that was 
three and two, that really should have been a four and one, right? Like I, I made one attack step on that that one turn that if I just don't attack, we would have we would have won that game, and it could have been a four one. This was pretty sweet. This was pretty sweet. Um, I liked like I wasn't really expecting that much from the Teemo, but honestly, I really liked the Teemo and the Peddlers and just giving them a bunch of puff caps. Um, and then you know using that as a win con instead of Ezreal because I've played I've played Swain Ezreal before and it just didn't feel like this like the Ezreal was that good in the Swain Ezreal um, you know we talked about that one at the end of the video just it didn't the Ezreal just didn't really finish games out because you know by the time I would have Ezreal and level up Ezreal I didn't have spells to go along with Ezreal too often and it was just it was pretty awkward but I think I, I liked having Peddler instead and then Teemo that can also give him puff caps. And just going that route and um, just playing a control deck where the puff caps dealing the damage to them helped us add in the damage with everything else that we had. You know, all these other burn spells that we're playing and the Swains dealing damage and stuff like that. Um, I thought that was pretty reliable and uh, pretty awesome and just and more fun too. Not only um, something that felt better, but also more fun to play. So I liked that quite a bit. I liked having... Um, I liked having puff caps go along with Swain and, you know, it's done things and uh, just, you know, wait for our opponents to draw more, draw more cards. We played against some other control decks and the more cards they drew, the more damage I was doing. Where if I was just playing Ezreal against the control deck, they just kill my Ezreal. Boom, it's dead. And, and it's really hard to win. But, you know, puff caps, more puff caps, more puff caps. That was pretty awesome. So it definitely could have been a 4-1 if I just don't attack. Um, that last turn I got... I got uh, destroyed by that harsh winds. Um, if I just go no attacks, we would have had that. So cool. Like this is definitely not like a yeah. It's definitely not like a tier one deck, but a lot of fun to play. And if you like uh, you like control decks, um, and you like you know the randomness of puff caps and want to have fun with a control deck, this was a really fun control deck to play. So um, yeah, that's what I got. Really really liked this one. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube. Please hit that like button over there and feel free to leave the comments here also if you really enjoyed this one as well. Let me know over there in the comment section. I would appreciate that. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Timo Swain Control and I'll see you for the next video.